Hey everybody, uh, just wanted to give you guys an update and take a little sip of beer here. This is my uh, unfiltered red amber. It's got some floating hops in it. Um, I don't mind it. Um, I kind of like the extra hop that it lends, but uh, I think next time I'll probably filter it all the way down. Ah, well, let me tell you, it's good tasting stuff, and it's about nine percent. You drink a few of those, yeah, you start to feel it. So, yesterday, I think, uh, you know, I showed you guys what what I was doing, some of the the problems that I had with um, accidentally cutting into uh, um, the refrigerant core or coil rather and having to pull that out and that kind of screwed things up um, and then I showed that uh, I had received or bought another refrigerator um, so right now uh, I got that tore apart got it installed uh, got my little love controller uh, well I don't know if it's a love controller but it's the the typical controller that you see um, for the aquarium builds that you see on homebrewtalk.com the STC-1000 um, you know like other people I don't mind that it reads in Celsius there's enough uh, uh, charts out there that you can get and and get your uh, Fahrenheit temperatures for 20 bucks it's an outstanding controller um, very easy to mount um, and uh, has been working really good since I got it installed. So let me uh, kind of show you a bit about what I've done here. Let me move some of this stuff around. So right there, I'll turn the flash on there. Right there you see the radiator I have mounted to the side. So basically all I did was take the condenser and the radiator out of the fridge. I don't need the box. Um, that to me is just something more bigger that I have to build around. Um, so got it plugged in. Go around here to the side. Kind of back up here so you guys can get maybe a little more view. You have to pardon the gas container there. I have to mow the lawn tomorrow, uh, weather permitting. Um, you know, I got my grain mill there and well, over there is my brew stand and my makeshift computer table. I've been doing some homework this evening out here. I can get away from the children and, and really uh, concentrate a little bit more. Um, but let me get in here close. There's my controller and at uh, 15.7 Celsius. It's about ready to kick on. Um, I currently have um, that is my uh, dark, uh, it's kind of a Cascadian style, even though I know they're not calling it Cascadian style, it's more, uh, now it's the American um, IPAs, but, uh, or uh, American, uh, yeah, IPAs, or Imperial IPAs, whatever. Um, but to give you an idea, I have the uh, controller set to 60 degrees Fahrenheit and you probably didn't hear it but with the door open it just kicked on so now it's cooling and if you look at the temperature on the carboy I don't know it's going to be kind of bright with the let me see if I can no that's too dark sorry about that well you would say it's it's pegged at 60 so it's really really maintaining the temperature there's my blow-off container uh, you do get a little condensation um, in the bottom I do have two kegs here that I've I'm conditioning um, and these are my latest ones that is my tube that comes from the top uh, and then down at the bottom and then you probably saw it in the other one, but there's my port to go up. 
Um, basically what I did is I drilled uh, holes about every, um, you know, I had it spaced out. Uh, well, let me turn off that flash. Um, or I guess it'll just turn back on. Uh, I had it spaced out um, so that I ended up uh, mathematically, um, it's a three inch tube and with the length that I had, I spaced the, um, I think they're three eighths inch holes and based on uh, three inches, whatever it equated out to, I put them that far apart. So um, it ended up putting basically a three inch uh, hole at the um, through the tube, blowing cold air out. And then of course you had the three inch um, porthole going up to the top chamber. Um, as you can tell, the fermentation is actually very, very quiet. I'll shut up here. So you can kind of hear the hum of the compressor, but uh, I mean, realistically, <laughs> I've been very, very impressed thus far. Um, you know, I don't, not sure if I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get this light off, but I'm not sure if I'm going to pimp out um, my fermentation chamber. Um, there's a few things I thought about doing. I thought about cutting glass in the doors, but, you know, quite frankly, um, if I do that, I'm letting light in. So I think uh, for me, opening the door um, for a few seconds just to check on things, not that big of a deal. Um, you know, this is probably one of my, um, well, I say this about every build, i got to be honest, but it was really, really a, a, a fun build. Um, you know, it was unfortunate that I, I uh, you know, lost the first refrigerator, but, um, uh, you know, overall, little patience. Um, I was able to find another one, and uh, uh, so that, that really helped. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I watched uh, Jake's videos today, um, real cool, kind of excited to see where the, uh, his new fermentation chamber and, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry, not his new fermentation chamber, his new uh, keyser is going to come out. Um, I, I do understand what he was saying. Um, as, as you guys know, I do have... Um, I do use a refrigerator and I have six taps in it. Um, never really opened it up for you guys, but I can certainly do that. Um, yeah, it, it, it does tend to get uh, a little messy in there. And, you know, I, I have a decent amount of room uh, from the top. Um, that is one thing when I did purchase this is the only thing that becomes a problem is you do have to turn them and see now I open it up and now I've got Pandora's box and this is probably one of the things that you know a lot of people dislike uh, about this um, now I've got the door open so I'm uh, all right which one is it it's probably this uh, it's uh, you know one of the things that people don't like about the the fridge um, setups but uh, overall um, I've been happy with it uh, you know maybe one day I'll I'll uh, uh, go to uh, a keyser but I don't know this seems to work just fine for me I'll give you a little update here um, in just that short few minutes I've dropped down to my temperature um, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out, uh, I, I think I have the controller set fine. It does seem to kick on about every 90 minutes, maybe two hours, which I think is actually pretty good. Um, I do have a few more areas that I want to put some, uh, some more of that spray foam, uh, tape up a little bit more, I think. Um, and actually on the very top of it, uh, I do not have any of the two-inch insulation foam, which I do have a 
giant piece right there. Um, so that is definitely something that I'll be cutting out probably. Well, I got some major homework coming up tomorrow. Um, but you know what, I'll, I'll probably have some time tomorrow, if not uh, Tuesday, and I'm going to put that up there and um, I think that will help a little bit. Uh, might extend another half hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe longer. Um, I'm not a, uh, I'm not great with math, so I, I don't know the exact how to calculate that stuff. But uh, I think overall, uh, I've been very happy with this. Um, it actually looks halfway decent, believe it or not. Um, you know, I, we did take some time in in putting together, and the the wife. Uh, you know, was pretty patient with me, and she let me spend a little money. Um, you know, I, I didn't go uh, terribly expensive, but uh, I think I'm, I'm happy with the overall appearance uh, of the entire project. Um, uh, so, uh, other than that, uh, this project, after I get the top part on and do a little more sealing, this project will be done. I'm very happy with it again. Um, so I guess now the next step is brewing some beer, some more beer. Um, I do intend to take uh, a video of my brew session. I don't know why. There, there's been so many people out there that have done those, but uh, you know, maybe maybe it'll kind of inspire someone. I, I don't know. Um, if not, at least I have some video documentation of me. Uh, brewing. Um, I would say uh, my major project coming up, um, seriously thinking about going to a single tier uh, brew stand. Um, you know, right now I'm, I'm as, as you can tell over here, I'm um, all gravity fed. Uh, I got the basically the three levels since I got the Blickman stands and then it goes down to the mash tun, my little cooler down there, but that's usually sitting up um, and then down there I usually put uh, my other kettle um, which is a very small one, it's just an aluminum one. Um, I made some root beer yesterday for the kids uh, and uh, they're excited about that. Um, so, then probably tomorrow or well, man, I got so much stuff to do, guys. Uh, in the next couple of days, I'm gonna have to carve that because they're they're bugging me. Uh, well, my oldest is. I only have the two, but my oldest is bugging me. Um, and then I want to do uh, um, another batch of beer here. Thinking maybe this weekend. Um, not sure exactly uh, what I'm looking for. I've got that nice dark in there. Uh, I've got a porter in there, and then I have my uh, uh, my another ale in there. Um, that is my creation. Actually, all three beers in there right now are um, my own recipes. Um, so you you fellow brewers out there know that. Sometimes uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't come out the way you like. Um, in fact, the ale that's that's like version well 2.0 for me, but uh, I did it in, in increments of like 0.5. Um, so that's uh, that's uh, it's more than 0.5 actually, because that would uh, mean I only did uh, four, and that's probably about my eighth batch. So. Uh, you know, it's it's all about tweaking and, and getting them right. Uh, I'm hoping that is it. Uh, as soon as I get some space, I'll be able to put it on the the um, the uh, kegerator and and maybe uh, maybe that'll be my next one this weekend. Um, that's a possibility. Uh, you know, if if I nail this one, then I'm I'm done. I'll I'll keep that recipe. But I have a feeling that I need to add a little more malt on the back end, so I, I may have to put a little more maltiness into it, but we'll see. I, I may have it on this one. If not, I'm not far off. 
Um, but anyways, you guys are probably tired of me rambling. Um, I appreciate anyone and everyone that uh, might watch the video. Uh, I hope you guys uh, have a good evening and uh, cheers, keep brewing. And I'll give you an update uh, in the next week or so. Have fun. Bye-bye.